What's up guys? Well, I've set up a little workplace here for these uh, videos with the boats and everything else. And I had an idea. The idea of course is getting my little 4HP Yamaha motor to actually charge a battery. Um, now there is a rectifier you can get from Yamaha but it's extremely expensive. And uh, I, can't, I don't want to get that right now. So what I'm thinking is, well, I actually found the rectifier off a broken little motorbike scooter. And um, I kind of think maybe this works. I've made some alterations to the wiring harness. Um, basically, I'm going to try running the earth from the engine onto the earth here, which well, it still, should still work, you know. And, uh, okay, this one's got an ignition coil. So, but that's not the end of the world. I mean, if it does work, we'll put a switch to it. So I want to test this out. And at the same time, I want to test out another thing on the Yamaha 4 horsepower motor. Um, maybe there should be another video. Weather-wise, it's looking okay, if you guys take a look at it. It's a little windy out there, um, but I definitely feel it's, we can definitely go out there. At the same time, uh, yeah, we can try catch some fish as well, right? So, um, right, let me know if you like these little videos of the alterations in that. Um, will this work? I actually don't know, but check that view out. I mean, that is beautiful, man. Well, it's windy. Um, we're definitely going to go try it out right now. So, yeah, um, two tests today, one of them is the Yamaha engine, and of course, I want to see if I can get more power out of it, I'll show you guys about that now, I've got another cool uh, thing happening, but let's get out there, start getting the stuff together, it is, yeah, one video at a time, I suppose, so yeah, let's rock and roll. Alright guys, well, we're out now, we've got all our stuff out here, there's a couple of things I'd like to test today, but check the moon out there, you guys check it out. Um, there's a lot of fish down here, so I'm kind of like, uh, you know, I'm kind of like trying to fish them. I kind of think uh, maybe I catch some fish, but uh, we should do some testing as well. So, but let's carry on doing some fishing first, and then we'll do the testing just now when uh, the fishing has gone a lot less. Right on. So I'll keep you guys up to date. Let's see if we catch anything. Um, right now we're going for all that stuff you see over there on the garment. I got some bicky hooks on, so that could help. And uh, yeah, it's looking like a beautiful morning. Welcome back guys. Well, now we're busy doing another experiment all together. And that is will a rectifier off a motorbike. Okay, we've got the sun right behind us here, which is not gonna help, right? Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna turn the boat around a bit. And uh, let's just turn it around the other way. So now, will a rectifier from a motorbike actually work on the boat engine. I don't have the foggiest idea. Um, I've done a bit of reading on it. In theory, it should work. So I've got an experimental version here right now. And yes, it looks damn scary. I don't even know if this works. This is from a little motorbike. The good thing is it's dirt cheap. And uh, there's a reason, I suppose, why the proper ones are that expensive. So in theory, we can take a look at the diagrams here. Um, in theory, black and red were supposed to be, well, this is for ignition key and that's for battery, right? We connect those to the battery. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I will connect them to the battery. Yes, why not? Uh, we've got a center earth, which is uh, apparently must draw earth off the chassis of the, um, what you call it, or the engine, which is cool. And the other one goes to the battery. Uh, okay, that makes I can I can try to figure that out. So what I've done is I've made a little earth wire. You guys can check the earth wire. It's going straight here, and that goes to the battery. The other piece is going to go to the earth on the motor. I don't think I should be doing this, but anyway, I will try. So earth goes into the engine. Where? Basically anywhere. Uh, yeah. Alright, putting this down, I'm going to stop plugging stuff in and see if anything happens before it blows up. Because I can't hold the phone and do this at the same time. It's a bit dangerous, guys. Wish us luck. Maybe we can charge a battery. Well, um, the rectifier was a complete fail. Uh, I nearly blew up the engine, I nearly blew up the garment, I nearly blew up everything on the boat, but um, I didn't get it charged. Something I'm plugging in wrong. Gotta go look at that again, right? 
Um, as for the idling screw, well, the idling, uh, you know that idling screw is cool. It definitely is, you know, I've got the engine to run a bit nicer. So that helped quite a bit. I mean, the engine is running smoother, which is kind of cool. Um, so yes, that did help a little bit. I mean, yeah, it does make the, you know, just increase the little mixture, just a little bit to make the engine a bit happier. So that was a, that was a winner. For now, we've got beautiful weather. You guys can see weather's holding up a little bit, so I'm gonna do a bit of trolling with the line, see if I catch a fish. If I do, definitely I'm gonna tell you guys. But for now, I'm gonna grab that coffee there. I don't know if you guys can see it, there's a coffee somewhere there. It should be cold by now. Uh, but I'm kind of done up uh, trying to blow myself up today. And uh, yeah, so I'll catch a fish. See you guys in a few minutes. We're still crawling around, sometimes the weather's just uh, just going right. So there's some waves coming in the distance, but for now, I'm just gonna troll this out, enjoy a bit of this. Oh, we're gonna go to work, right? So, yeah, it's just so cool. Um, no fish yet, Garmin's working. But yeah, about all our experiments um, kind of failing. But anyway, uh, we'll find other ways of making them work. For now, we're just going to cruise um, not much longer. And maybe we do catch a big fish. You never know. But either way, on our way home just now. And uh, yeah, what a cool day. Right on.